All right. Well, it's the Cares None, the Be Dope podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None, and I have a special, special guest today, man. Uh, we got a comedian. We got uh, a fencer. What, you're going to tell me about the fencing situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got acting a, a actor. Yeah. You, you know what, Dante? I'm going to let you tell him exactly what you do, because you do like a hundred things. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I've lived a life. I lived a long life. So I, I and I um, I always say the two things that I think were the scariest and the um, the greatest thing I've ever heard was that uh, I could pretty much do whatever I want to do. It's the greatest thing in the world because it tells you that you have no limits. And it's the scariest thing because now you can't blame nobody else when you when you ain't got shit going on. It's all your fault. Right. You know? Well, here's so, well, let me let me tell you something, man. So for the people who are listening, Dante Nero is one of the top two or three reasons why I am where I'm at today. And it's not even close. No. Uh I came across Patrice's uh Patrice's show back in the day where you were the co-host. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The Black Phillips show. show, yeah. Yep, the Black Phillips show. Uh, uh I got hurt by a girl. Of and a buddy of mine, and I was and I was as into, we all as we all do. Right, right. And I was into the uh the, the pickup artist that I found that on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So learned it, and I'm like, okay, I'm learning some better stuff that was working better than my you know stuff. Well, I, you can't, you know, people laugh at that, but the thing is the technique is sound. The 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 problem is with with pickup is the techniques, a lot of the techniques are because the techniques are like a lot of times they're based on on it's it's based on psychology, you know, right. neuro linguistic neuro linguistics programming and and body language and all that stuff and all of that stuff is valid. They're all pretty valid, um, you know, sciences. Um, but the problem is, there's a level. Something that I found later is that there's a level of authenticity that keeps a woman into you like if you're if there's an incongruency between who you say you are and who you really are they i don't even know if they feel it on a cognitive level uh more like it's just a thing like like something's up with this you know and um you know that incongruency is what makes you it, it, it's what what makes the girl leave you pretty much because if you think of incongruency as as a lie Right. Right. Uh, it is, you know, the whole point is that it's, a, uh, you know, a lie makes a woman. So I've always said this, that um, uncertainty or incongruency reads as deceptive. Deceptive reads as dangerous. Dangerous reads as, you know, the woman goes, I got to get out of here. There's something about him that I'm uncomfortable with because there's a there's an incongruency and a lack of trust. Well, well, but here's the interesting thing, Dante. So that's how I got introduced to you was that whole right. world, right? And then you kind of flipped the script because the thing that I got the most from yours was like the best game is no game to be the best right. version of yourself. So, and right. the, point, the, the more I stopped focusing on women, and don't forget, I learned a few of the techniques and stuff. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, they still work. Yeah, but but it 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 ain't it don't feel is like for real. Yeah. And yeah, then when yeah. I started working on being the best version of Chris Campbell, that's when first of all I gotta know what the hell that is. What is that? <laughs> this is a this is a dab rig. Uh, it's uh it does uh shatter and dab rig. Okay. So, okay. But it uh it's like a water bong and it's uh it's it looks serious. it looks futuristic as hell. <laughs> this is like in twenty fifty two right now. Uh, I'm I'm about to be in twenty and three thousand. <laughs> so that was the best thing I got from you, man. And and you can ask any of my buddies. I'm telling you, I I quote you more than anybody else. In fact, Dante, I would argue I have become a version of you when I go out. So when I see other dudes, I'm like, oh no, Dante. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just yeah. and I feel inclined. Like I I, I have to help you. Like because I I'm telling you. Not that I get every girl or anything, but my results because of everything I learned from you and a, a couple right. of books like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way different, a whole different world in my life, in my trajectory, in my life. And it's because of you, bro. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that's a good. I mean, if I can, uh, if, 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 if you as a human being, if you can get one of those, just one dude to say that you, 
you win. <laughs> and you I know you're blessed enough to have thousands and thousands and thousands. Yeah, dudes, of that. dudes, fuck with me heavy. I mean, I'm really trying to get the message out there more because I don't. I, there's a lot of stuff I'm seeing out there that just really, it ain't. It, it's just it's for gazy and. And I mean, I'm even taking, you know, I'm as I'm growing, I'm still learning things and stuff. I have a, a a concept that I'm working on in my head right now that's just really off the hook. It 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 kind of it kind of literally explain it it it, it kind of it's a practical application of um like what the secret is. Oh, but the law it, of attraction. It, yeah, whole law of attraction and stuff. But it's a it's a it's a theory that I'm having in my head that I'm that I'm working in my head. Have I'm you still talked having about worked. It oh, have well, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well. So everything is kind of relative. Um, like I always say, true wisdom is something is is uh, understanding the underlying concepts of things and um, that seem irrelevant but really are not. Oh, Meaning, yeah, yeah. if you learn something, uh, if you boil that lesson down to just the explanation the, the, the general explanation of that to the you rule can, right you got to boil it right, down to the, to rule the rule it, <laughs> to the, right you got to get once you get it down to that you can reapply it to everything uh to everything else that um that you do right. which gives and that's the that's the definition of wisdom is being able to take the lessons from one situation and and use it so that you make the right decisions in the other and, and you have to kind of open your mind and let that happen. Right. right. So um, my, my, the, so it's a little, uh, it's really kind of complicated, but so during the pandemic, I hadn't got on on stage. Like I used to do 10 to 15 spots on stage. I would be 10, 15 shows a week. Right. right. And then all of a sudden with the pandemic, I wasn't on stage for like two, two, three months straight. Right. Which is like and, a big life change, you know, it's yeah, like that, a big halt. Right. Oh, yeah. It's 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 really uh, it's really something that uh, it makes you go like what the you know, like you, you you question you start to question if you could do what you what you did before you get rusty, you literally get r rusty and everything else. So hey, let me interrupt you real quick, because that's actually a good tip, because I'm telling you, Dante Nero is probably one of the more. I don't know you personally, personally, but you come off as a confident person. Yeah. In. And even you have moments where you get unsure of yourself at times. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, that, the, that, you know, the fear is a, is a, it's a very prehistoric kind of thing that we don't really need. It actually fucks everything up. I mean, any emotion makes, your ability to to make decisions. Well, some fear is uh, good, though, no? Like, if you're in the forest, you see a lion, shouldn't you? Yeah, but are we really in that, you know, when are we in that situation? I, but I, I, I think <laughs> I think that we also know, I, I just do the base base fundamentals of how things work. It, you, um, you're you also in a in a situation where you go, uh, I, I can tell that this situation is not a... Uh, it's not a scary situation or I should be cautious. You know, if you, you, I mean, I think we can, there's visual cues that we know. How, so you don't have to actually have the fear to know that something is, is, is dangerous. You know, I mean, right, we, right, we right. do that right now. Right. Um, you know, you don't have to be afraid. I mean, when you see a little kid, like I got my little son, I know that I need to close Oh, thank you, bro. I know that I have to close the gate. I know that he's going to walk off the edge of that step and he's going to get hurt. He has no fear. My, I have no fear of it myself. I just have a fear if I don't stop him. So it's a very direct kind of thing. So what happens is when you get on, so the first time I got on stage, I was, I was rusty. I, I mean, I did fine, but not where, where I was killing it when I was, you know, before the pandemic. And uh, and then I was you like, all I'm going to do tools, though, right? Like, you, right. You able to now, here's them. what's interesting about that. So. You know, I'm always talking about sharpening the tools, but what's what is sharpening your tools? You know, you're getting those reps in. Right. Why? Why? Because there's never a period of time when you're not doing the thing and and you're 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 questioning whether you can do the thing. Do you, okay. do you understand what I mean? I do. So. 
so it's it's a it's a space between so so we keep doing the reps so we believe that we are capable of of what we say we're capable of because we have all this evidence of doing it over and time mm. over and over again and so that becomes proof and so that there's there's no real question about what you could do because the work has been done right, right but right. The, okay. the real idea is that once you have the skill set right the only thing that gets you to the place where you you artistically are in the same place is if you make a decision to do so you make a decision to do it like so you know my son when my son sits he sits when he's standing he's standing when he he's only walking when he lets go of the couch and he takes a step forward right okay when he's standing he's not walking when he's crawling he's not walking those are different things. So he's he, at one moment, at a moment, he makes a decision that he's going to walk and he takes the first step. Even if he falls the next one, he's walking, but he's, he's just shitty at it. He just, right, right. he sucks at it, yeah, but he's doing it. Right, right. right. He's doing it because he has to learn the context of it. You know, right. Um, can, say something. I want to make sure I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's just, so the thing that the thing that prerequisites whatever you're trying to accomplish is simply a decision. It's you making a decision. I'm going to do this. Right. Whether or not you do it well or you do it for however, those are not that's not. But doing it is just the decision. So let me let me and then you, let me ask you this, because a lot of what my podcast is geared towards is ultimately I'll talk about anything from anal sex to, you know, fuck Trump. But mm -hmm with the aim to help people be better. You know, I'm all about right. be dope. My whole thing is cares none, be dope, right? Which I kind of get from you, like, right. you the side, but then to help people, can you help people and give them some advice that would help them get to an I'm dope situation? So, and I, I know it's just, you just say it and it's kind of there, but what are yeah, yeah. people to like believe Okay, it? so there's, there's always a situation where we, there's, we have a level, you know, we have a comfort level. We have a situation where we feel most comfortable, right? Wherever you feel uncomfortable, embrace that. Mm. Push yourself beyond that. So when I was a kid, when I thought about this, I was maybe 15 years old and I was, eh, I'm going to say maybe a little younger than that, maybe like 11. And I was like, I'm so, I was so afraid of everything. Like, cause my pops was like, don't go there. You get killed. Don't do it. They'll shoot you. They just, you know, whatever you'll get hit by a car. Don't, you know? So he always was like making a dude scary. So like I was a scary kid and I just hated that I was scary. So I got tired of, of being scary. So any situation that I was afraid of, I would push, I would do that. I just kept challenging myself. And then what I found like is discipline. You were gaining discipline in that situation too, right? And but I'm also pushing past. And so I'm widening my comfort zone. Mm, yeah. So I'm, I'm so what I'm less I'm more comfortable with whatever I'm afraid of. I'm, I'm challenging myself to do that. And even if I don't like it, I do it and I do it and do it because we love doing what we're good at. And when we get good at it, then we love doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, right. There's no dis, there's no disconnect to that. But if I would always just expand myself it come, and the fear exists between when the opportunity is uh, when the opportunity is presented to you and how long you take to access the opportunity. So mm -hmm. here's the opportunity. Seconds tick off the, the the more space it is between the opportunity and when you actually do it. The, you give it more fear. The fear gets more and more intense until it literally, till the fear stops you from doing something. Right. So what I used to do was I would access the opportunity immediately when the fear level was low. So I was, I used to be afraid to ask girls out to dance when I was a kid. Right. So I would walk in see some girl that I liked and that I wanted to dance and I would run right straight to her and say, you want to dance? And she'd go, yeah. And I'd be like, okay, uh, I'm gonna go put my coat down. You know what I mean? Like, and then I was already in it. Right. So, but see, and then it's never as bad. Let me ask you this though, because that kind of reminds me of you got to lay your bricks a little bit. Yeah, sure. So, could you could you explain what laying your bricks is? 
And, and do you even still suggest that? I would imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I, it, say, for instance, if I get a guy and he says to me, you know, I don't really have, you know, I'm a good guy. I'm honest. I'm loyal. I'm, I'm, I'm credible. I'm truthful. He says, but I can't get girls. I'm a nice guy. I'm a, I, whatever. And so what I do is I say to a guy, lay the five bricks. It's, it's the, my plan to get you out of that. It means you every day you go out and you say hello to five women a day. Pay a compliment. And, and not just to try to fuck her. No. Like in, fact, you're you're not, in fact, you're not trying to fuck her. You, that is not the requirement. That's not what I'm at. In fact, I don't want you to try. But it's just to pay a compliment and then you have to, the compliment has to be something truthful. Yeah, don't bullshit it. Like if, yeah, so if you can't, don't feel a compliment, don't say it at all. Then don't say it at all. It, it all has to come from a level of authenticity, right? And that, so five a day, every day, the first week goes by, you 35 women. You, I, you do that for eight weeks. In eight weeks, you've talked to over 285 women. I know pimps that don't talk to 285 <laughs> right, women. Right, 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 right. And so there's a comfort that starts to happen after a week or two where it becomes more of you because you're making a commitment to me to do five a day. Right. So man to man, you tell me, I give you my word, I'm going to do five a day. I expect you to do it. And I respect you to do it on your own regard and your own credibility. Right. So... If you didn't do it, I expect you to tell me. And if you did do it, I want you, I, I'm going to assume that you did because you said you gave me your word. So what happens, it becomes more about, it becomes more of a chore to talk to women than it does where you, 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 where you think that something is at stake. See, the problem is oh, you, 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 something is at stake. And so that's where the fear comes from. What the rejection, because I'm trying to talk to her, but I can't get it. What if she says no? And, and so and that's why think you think that guys are having a hard time even doing because how many guys tell you, man, I didn't do the five bricks? Right. Because they, 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 they when they when they commit to me, they do. They'll tell me, yo, this is what happened and I didn't get this. But what then I made it people up. People do the, all, the five bricks of all the guys you uh, coach. That, that, that if they're calling me and they're consulting with me, which you go Dante Nero dot com, right. you click consult. Those you guys. can book time with me if they're going through the system um, instantly if they're going through the system and they just want to be more fluid or start to be more fluid and start to, you know, get a little game, you have to remove the anxiety first. When you, when you, anxiety. you, when you have fear, this all goes back to fear. When you have fear, you don't act the same way than when you, you don't care. If you're a gambler, you, when the, the more money you put down, the more, the more fear you have to lose, right? right. It's, the, it, it's a cost to benefit ratio. But when you know that you engaging with this woman is uh, to benefit her, then you don't you don't have you're not you're not like oh, down a lot. you're not needy. And because you're not needy, you're you see, we teach people how to how to communicate with us by the way that we act. So when you're not needy and you're respectful of yourself, people treat you respectfully. If you believe that you have value, then how else am I going to know? I don't know you. So you got to tell me whether you got value. You that's that's who tells me. And most times just it's the actions, right? Your actions. And it's the action. You. It's the little things. There's a there's a there's a comfort in movement. It, there's a comfort in your voice. It 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 permeates everything that you do. Everything you, remember, that you do. I remember you said this once, Dante. If you're going, you said if you're sweeping, if you're sweeping, are you sweeping like that last little bit of line on the dust? Yeah, that line, the dirt are you line. The guy who gets that, or are you the guy who puts it under the refrigerator? And that blows with me. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know what? To be the best version of yourself, to me, you want to get that little dirt line. You got to get that dust. Not because yeah. people are looking. No. Because that's what you're right supposed to do. Right. So now when, I, when I'm the dude who don't, when I say I'm the dude who don't even leave the little dust line, you think I'm a lie? You think I'm a cheat? You, you think right. that what I'm saying, I'm not telling the truth? I gain instant credibility because if I won't fuck up on the little thing, I'm surely not going to fuck up on the big thing. And that, and you communicate that in a way that women feel that. They can feel that authenticity. It's attractive to them because it, it, it creates a level of safety. 
Mm-hmm. And that safety is what's attractive. See, what, what, about this part, what about this part of it? The fact that that's so not, it's, it's kind of rare for the guy to have that kind of credibility and authenticity. Oh, it's and definitely I, rare, but it doesn't even, but I think there's something on a, on a, on an instinctual, yeah. on an instinctual level, like a woman wants, I mean, like so many relationships I've seen get destroyed. Dude's chick gets pregnant and then he's kind of turned off or whatever. And, and he's not really there because that's when she's at her most uh, genetic, like in terms of our DNA and turn of our evolution, that's when a woman is most vulnerable when she's with child. And right. so because the dude wasn't there then, she never trust him again. Because right. that's the biggest, that's the worst situation. It that's when again. she's most vulnerable. You know, it's, it's funny, Dante, because uh, I've always been a more trust, trustworthy individual. But I would definitely lie to get ass. I would lie to, you know, I, I didn't really lie to my friends. I was always pretty honest to my friends. But right. like I would lie. But then w- listening to your podcast, I realized that being brutally honest and, and, and coming from a place of like, of, of being, uh, to be in a right individual, you know what I'm saying? To be joy, to be, be righteous. Good, be righteous. Be That's righteous. You want to be a righteous individual and you're brutally honest. That way of living. It, it's so much more free. You're happier. You're a happy <laughs> like person. And even if, so, and it's funny because here's the paradox. And I, be, and I, you already know this, but just talking to the people, when you're honest to the girl, and even if they don't like it, but but you still said it, they but respect you, that. Because you're so so. If you if you say something, and you. You, you, this is your boundary. And I say as a man, this is, this is the boundary. If you, if I let a woman bend that boundary, even if she benefits from me bending the boundary, I'm still a dude who bends his boundaries. (laughs) Right. I'm still a dude whose word don't mean nothing because my word to shut it down is the same as my word is to be faithful or to be to be honest or to be any one of those things. If you fuck one up, it's just like, it's like this, it's the Judge Judy syndrome. You lied about one thing, but you got no, you were done. You always lying. I have to assume I'm, you're always lying, you know? So that in itself and that trust level is, I think that's an instinctual thing. But, I, but I, I'm what, trying to what? get to the point where you don't, where it just becomes who you are, just flows from you. Like just like your truthfulness and your righteousness, it it's your righteousness is in the way you walk, it's in the way you talk, it's what you say, it's the words you use, it's how you dress. Being righteous is a thing that affects it, it permeates every aspect of your personality. And that's where the hot the happiness comes from. Because it, it here's a here's the thing. Say you shit your pants by accident and you out at a club, you <laughs> sneak in to get home. Right, you sneaking. You don't want nobody. You trying to. You don't want to you, fight it out. Right. You ha- why? Cause you're dirty. Right. But when you're not dirty, you don't have to hide. You know what I mean? You're not trying to get home. <laughs> right. You stay. You 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 where you at? You the weight of your righteousness owns the place where you're at. Now what if you and shit? anywhere you want to go? Now what if you at the club and you shit? I feel like my mindset now. If that happened to me. I wouldn't. I I would go obviously because I want to clean up. But like I I wouldn't be as trying to sneak out. I'm like, yeah, man. I you know, I should. Right. My, it's, my bad. But I mean, I, I, you understand how someone could be embarrassed that they shit their pants. I mean, so no, it's just, for it's sure. Just, but you can. So I'm not. But get to this to this point where that won't even. I fucked up. Like I'm gonna yeah, tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. I'm human. I mean, I you know I always say you probably heard me say this a hundred times two things that you're always going to have to do as a human being is give forgiveness and ask for forgiveness. That means you're going to make mistakes and people are going to make mistakes that affect you. And then that's the, and if you're righteous about it and you're giving and taking and, and, and things are reasonable and just, and not abusive or reckless, then you, that whole thing kind of flows. It all kind of flows together. And what's happening now is just even the political diaspora, it's just a lack of righteousness. 
It's hypocrisy. If you know something and you you acting like you don't know, if I say, if you know it's racist, or even if you don't understand it's racist, but you know you don't want to be treated that way, then don't treat me that way. Right. But you, if you're acting like you don't have the empathy for my situation, it's like, dog, you come on, man, suck my dick. Like, get the right, fuck right, out of right, here. Right. We I mean, can't really the, have a conversation. Rule, right? Ain't that the golden rule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's uh, you know, my, my whole thing was to try to spread that in a way to get to reach brothers and understand that. Because it's, it's, it's I mean, you can testify to this in that I, my, my, the acronym I use is ACE. It's authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Mm. Tell them the truth. I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and I do what I say. Otherwise, I don't say it. Oh, that just don't and say empathy it. is the is the fact that, yo, I, I, let me see what you're going through when I engage with you. I don't want to be a dick just because I don't understand. Let me look at it, look at it. See, and if we do that, I think that's the thing that would just lift everybody up. But your, your testimony to the fact that when you live like that, mm. You feel powerful, dog. You you feel yeah, it's a powerful feeling. Your words carry more weight. Yes. You open your mouth and you and it's like, you know, you're hearing the, the voice of God. It's different. <laughs> right, 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 right. I really I, know, really, believe, I really believe in like the best game is no game. That's what it is. It's you got to be that motherfucker. And it just is what it is. You, <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, you got to be the dude you say you are. Now, I always say this, and tell me how you feel about this. I People ask me where I get my confidence from. And uh, so when I was a kid, I used to always say, I can't, I can't, I can't, right? I can't. As a little, I was a little introverted kid. I'm very extroverted yeah. now, but I was very introverted. My grandmother raised me. I guess she got fed up with me saying this all the time. Mm-hmm. And one day she got so pissed off that she made me write down on a piece of paper, if I think I can't, say I can. This is at like seven, eight years, nine years old, something like mm-hmm. that. And I and right. she, don't forget, she's my grandmother. I was so mad. I'm like, why are you doing this to me? Like, you know, uh, I, as a kid, I'm crying. I'm like, you, you, yeah. you, you mad? You, you, you making me in trouble because I can't do something? Yeah. Right. Do it, right? So she do it. Da, da, da. Yeah. And then finally, when I finished it a hundred times, she wrote it in her nice writing on, and put it on the wall. So for the, until I graduated, it was always on my wall. A little thing, oh, same wow. writing. So even if I saw, if I think I can't say I can. Even if I didn't see it, I subconsciously saw it every day for like 10 years. She programmed you. And I only, I had to, so one day I had an epiphany. I was drunk with a girl and I'm talking to her. I'm like, oh my God, am I? Cause I really believe Dante that I could do anything. Right. And I, and, and I was wondering like, where, where did I see? I think she was asking me like, how are you so confident? And I'm like, I just believe that everything's possible. And I'm drunk and I'm high. And I'm like, oh, it came down to that day. When I was nine, I can pinpoint my life to that day. Yeah, yeah. If you think you can't say you can. Yeah. So like, that's dope. That, that's such a good story to me, baby. Because it, and, and it kind of came after learning your shit. Because it's like, like getting to the root of what it yeah. means to be a man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, if you are who you say you are, then there's, you know, you, you don't say it. Even if somebody says, no, you ain't. You're like, all right, all right. It is what it is. It's whatever. Like, dog, if you think that you matter, what you think matters more than what I what I believe, what I know to be true, then you're you're just ridiculous. I mean, I've chilled so much more because I'm not even trying to prove it no more. You know, I'm not even trying to prove it. It's it's and what you'll find is that I mean, I'm and dude, I'm I'm 54 years old. And they still, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, it's an aura thing where you just, they can smell it on you. <laughs> you know, they can smell, <laughs> they can smell your, they can smell your not giving a fuckingness. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. I'm not press. Like you not even really my style. Like <laughs> you, 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 you 22, what you going to tell me? Yeah, I don't want to hear you exactly. talk. Right. It's not you could say. It's all you gonna get from this. You you winning. You you winning. I, it's fifty four <laughs> years of wisdom. I'm getting ready to. And yeah. you think because you you got a little perky booty that yeah. I'm gonna trade all that wisdom away for that? Come on, dog. That's, wait, wait, but here's the thing. And then when you believe that, yeah. and you and you're willing to take the L, right? And say, like, oh, 
they it's like that that's what gets them yeah it, that's it's, the tool it's, it's, <laughs> well it's the tool is that you're saying you are and you acting like you are means you are like so it's like there's there's no space there's no there's no mistrust and that's a very powerful thing because think about how often you get to have somebody say something to you and it means what they say exactly and you're not and you know it means so because this is it, it just has yeah. to be i mean not just with women men friends family a, members a word right right this that's crazy now let me ask you this why do you think that's not more of a thing. Why do you have to learn that? First of all, it's, I think it's hard. It's not easy. It gets easy. You know, kind of like pimping. <laughs> but it, it, but it, it gets easy. You know? So you and, think anybody's and, born with that? Or you, you have to kind of put your reps in? I mean, you have, a, you have a swag to it. But then there's a whole, you know... You know, you you know, you always had a kid when in the neighborhood or something that could draw. Right. All right. So he might have been apt to drawing or whatever, but I mean, he didn't. If he kept drawing, he, by yeah, the time man. he was twenty, he was nice. Right. Right. You know, but he always, you know, he didn't have a big head on the mother and the, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Shit out of proportion. His yeah, shit was in proportion. <laughs> okay, so he had that, but so what? You right. know what I mean? Right. You still gotta, you still gotta evolve. But I, I mean, I think people have a knack for something. But I, but I mean, I I think it's all, it's all attainable. It's just, do you want to pay the price? Mm. Do you are you willing to make the sacrifice to? That's what to, it comes down to, right? Yeah. You to, and when you're ready to do that, that's anything. Let me ask you anything. this: a little, little off topic, but something I've been kind of working on, trying to get my financing right. And I have I have a buddy who's doing really well in life, and. Mm. He just thinks differently about money than, than I did. Right, I did, right, right. Like, I don't, I had such a bad relationship with money. You know, I had yeah. no idea. Me too, me too. Take it serious. And now- I, dog, I, I, I threw away hundreds of thousands of dollars, like on bullshit. Still do, kind of. I'm just, you know, the level of my earning now is all on a hundred, another level that even though I'm shitty at it, it I'm is, still and, good. And you're good, right? Yeah. Right. But I'm but you're right. I'm I'm actually starting to discipline myself in that where because it's a difficult thing for me as well. You know, you know, yeah, you, it's just like anything else. You know, I always say a dude marries and, and dates his mother. So if your mother used to scream and yell, all of a sudden you got a chick who screams and yell. You dating your moms. It's what you're comfortable with. Right. So if if that's so. Would you say your, your but, girls like that? Like kind of like your mom? Wait a minute, my girl? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. My wife? Yeah. 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 She's, you know, bakes cookies. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> we had a fight. We had a fight because she said, because I brought Pillsbury cookies and I didn't have her make it from scratch. You know what I mean? Uh, she like, she's a, right. Yeah, she's a sweetie like uh, that. It, like, no, but let's do If you're going to do it, do it right. Dog, my son is almost two. I might have changed 15 diapers in in the in all that period of time. <laughs> Not because I'm, I'm I don't yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do it. She's just she on it. Right. Yeah, she's on that like that. And, and wants to, or desires that. Wants to do it, yeah. Doesn't, wants, was put on this earth to raise my son. You know what I mean? Like, Let me that ask was. You this. Let me ask you this. There's a lot, with the whole Me Too movement, and a lot of women getting into the whole, uh, like, being bosses and managers and be, being upper level. Mm. I find the ones that I've talked to that have moved up that ladder, a lot of them have told me they would much rather be at home being a housewife. All of them. So, like, I'm wondering, like, why that is. Well, I think that there, I think that people, uh, this, this independence becomes a lack of independence. Like, it, you, the independence should be that you get to do what you want to do. Not that you need to live up to some standard of other people, uh, other people perceive as successful or not successful. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you conform, you're a non-conformist 
in a group of conformity. So we all go, okay, a woman's success is being a career woman, having children, having it all. Blah, blah. What if you don't want to do that? Right. So you got to do that because you got to do that um, because why? Because they say so. Isn't the freedom you picking to decide what you like? If you know, if anybody listens to my podcast, it's Man School 202. If anybody listens to it, they know that I don't judge nobody. It's not my it's not my idea of what happiness is. Right. It's your idea of it. I'm just right. gonna tell you what whether I can tell you whether or not you you heading in the right direction and how to get there. But I I I can't um you know, I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't tell you what your happiness is going to be. Right. And it's, it's actually quite, it's, it's, it's sad, Dante, because I, I feel like I see a lot of dudes that were where I was and like, where, where do you get the knowledge? Like, you know, where do you get the knowledge? And it, that's why people like you are so vicious or Patrice when he was doing it, or yeah, yeah. I would even say me, cause I try to bring it out. And there's a lot of people trying yeah. to, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's like a lack of masculinity. And then now yeah, the, yeah. the word masculinity has gotten attacked because of the toxic version of it. But I believe true masculinity. Yeah, but here's, here's what I say. Um I I um I I I think you I I don't want to I never wanted to I never wanted to fuck somebody who didn't want to fuck me. Cause if you not, if you don't even, if you can't, don't your eyes are not open enough to see what my value is, then there's something wrong with you. It's cool, but it's <laughs> something wrong with you. But I, but I, you're not doing me a favor, and I believe that. So, so if a, even if a woman gave me an indication of of a, of discomfort, yo, I'm I'm out. Right. Like I'm I'm good. I don't do <laughs> yeah, awkward. I'm so good. I don't do awkward. So if this is <laughs> right, right. That that feeling like I, I awkward, it sucks. I'm I'm not doing that. Why am I doing that? I'm I'm paying for the date. I'm spending gas. Right. I'm spending time. I'm spending Even energy. We, fuck, we don't. Yeah, right, right. And I gotta not. I gotta not. I gotta not like something. I, you just gonna do things that that I don't like. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know, <laughs> right, like right. you like. Right. Why? But then there's there's ones out there that are exactly for and, and that all that shit you need might be different, right? Yeah. Well, for different people. Yeah, it's all it's different for dude. There's this CEOs and CFOs who pay somebody to stomp on their balls with heels. You know what I mean? They pay <laughs> right. for that. Which is when crazy my, to me. <laughs> I mean, what, what I'm it is what, what it I'm is. gonna say. It's right. not my thing, right? But right. I yo, I get it. You 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 gotta be this nigga all the time that you wanna you wanna feel what it is to get your ball stepped on and it and it and it it manifests itself in a real way of getting your ball stepped on. <laughs> I can't okay? imagine. That. How do you think that feel? I can't even imagine. Dog, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even. But I'm saying I get it. Right. I don't. You know, it ain't my thing, but I get it. Yeah, man. I don't, and, and you know, uh, uh, an ex's mom told me this once. You'll never be able to visit the whole world, like the entire planet. But the closest right. way to do it is through people. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, it, it's, 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 I saw this documentary the other day. They said that octopus have five different brain, uh, have a uh, have nine different brains. They really? literally have a brain, a sensory system in each tentacle that each tentacle acts independently, right? And they and then they have a brain in their head as well, right? So, so um, the reason why they don't run the world is because you don't have to, you don't have to invent algebra. You just got to take it. You, you, we, you stand, the geniuses of today uh, stand on the shoulders of the, the geniuses of yesterday. Every time an octopus is born, he starts from scratch. He's got his instinct, but he starts from scratch. And if he fucks up, he gets eaten and it's, go it's done. I come forward with the, with the, with the history and the, and the energy and the DNA 
of my ancestors, of every human being before, mm. everything that I read in a book, everything that I absorb, everything, television, the internet, everything, information is all around me. I am your children, the next generation. We aren't, we're not starting from scratch. We're not trying to learn how to invent a wheel. We're, we're already moving past that. You don't have to spend the thought energy on that. All you have to do is spend the thought energy to move forward. So it's a diff. That's why we. That's why human beings control the earth and destroy it. It's because we <laughs> keep getting smarter. Right. We keep and an octopus with nine brains. Just he's got to start from scratch. Go back to the beginning, dog. Figure yeah. it out. Go back to the beginning. <laughs> Figure that shit out. You'll now, never win. Let me let me ask you this about about comedy. Now. I remember that you, you guys didn't really respect the Instagram thing or not maybe you specifically. No, no, we didn't. No, none of us did. None of us did. None of us wanted to do uh, social media. None of us wanted, you know, if you had business cards um, and, and you try to hand out your business card, motherfuckers used to rip it rip it oh, oh let me get one and you give them and they rip it out and walk away that was a thing right. self-promotion wasn't even a thing it was about getting it was about learning your craft and being funny on stage and when you're funny on stage then the thing was that the 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 um the industry would recognize you because you were so good and they would pick you up and then they would make you a star and you would get, but your job was to craft, not mm. all the other stuff. It was just to be get noticed so that they could take you to the top. You get your letterman, you whatever, and then bang, you move on. Right. Right. Which, and so social media allowed people who really didn't pay their dues stand up wise to just do stand up because they had a following. And so we kind of, you know, it's a funky kind of thing. But what ultimately happens is if you if you keep if you do that and you see that person live, right, even if they got a million followers on Instagram, you're never going back. If they don't bring the goods, yeah, bring the noise. they're never coming back. Right. Now, so, did you, what, you, so you talking about just the just the Instagram guys that were trying to be in stand up? Or just the Instagram, like I like mean, friends. it just dog. I just saw this. I just saw this 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 documentary on on Netflix called Fake Famous, okay. where they they took three people, white dude, a black dude, and a, a white girl, and just did what they're supposed to do to make them motherfuckers. When I tell you, they took a fifteen dollar toilet seat, right, put it over in front of the girl <laughs> I head. Saw that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and threw the light light on it, and people, and it looks it looks a like you're looking plane. out of a plane window. <laughs> I saw that. They had a dude for fifth in in L. A. for fifty nine dollars an hour. You could rent the inside of a private plane, leather seats. You know that <laughs> shot on the gram right, that right, you always right. see sipping yes, champagne. Yes. It's in a warehouse, dog. <laughs> right, it's in a I warehouse, and you rent. The inside of the it's a set. That's how in the private place. That's how Fugazi the shit. <laughs> hey, and then you gotta keep that up. You gotta keep lying. Right, right. Dog, shoot me in the face. Yeah. I rather I rather people rock with me because they feel me. But you can't do. I mean, you can't. You still gotta bring the product to the people, and that's the thing. And the great thing about it is, I never really got. I never really got play from the industry i was more like an underground dude and motherfuckers knew me and respect me but you know i didn't have the credits like that at least not with stand-up with the acting yeah no. i had big credits with that but but the thing was this all the gatekeepers is gone right. like it's the wild wild west now so you don't you think could, the acting thing would have helped you more in that situation Nah, because they don't see you they don't see you as a personality unless you're going on talk shows going, hey, how you doing? I'm I'm Drew Barrymore. I'm George Clooney. Now you get to see me as a person also. But and then you like me because a person and you look and you and you go to my movies because you like it's a different. It's a whole different thing.
Right. If you know me as acting and I'm not famous enough that I'm, I have a personality, then the acting people who dig me for acting, they dig me for acting. People who know me from stand up know me from stand up. People who know me from the podcast and spitting that, that truth, you know, spitting gems. They, it's like they know me separate. So bringing all of them together only happens when you're able to integrate all on social media. And the only way to do that is, is with social media. And that's the, the, it's, it is what it is. And it's free. Doug, but if you've seen them, the photo shoots, renting <laughs> cars, you know, apartments, going to apart photo shoots in other people's apartment. But Doug, then that's your that's your role. You know what I mean? Right. You got the you got your final acting role. You the fake bitch who does the Instagram right. po- shots. And then you I mean, I get that. it. I get it. Cause dog, I mean, it's a, it ain't a lot of great motherfuckers. It ain't even a lot of motherfuckers that you go, oh, yo, that that dude right there. You know what I mean? That's few. It well, depends I, on what you want, you know. I feel like depends that's a, on what you want. that's a uh, interesting topic <clears throat> because, as because I, you know, I do like the little video, I do like little sketches and stuff. But also, yeah, yeah. But in everything I've ever, because you know, I, I studied the Instagram. That's how I got into anything. Yeah, yeah. Just, let me figure yeah. this out. And I would like to think that I tried to see past just do because even when I see some people, shit, I'm like, oh, okay, you're not even trying to make a joke. You're not yeah. trying to learn the structure yeah. of a joke. Where you yeah, set them yeah. up, you know, and I think I got that from you is that if you're going to do something, do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and put and put the time in. And, and, and if I look at my first thing that I ever did versus the things that I might do now, it's cringeworthy. But I still uh-huh. love that first video because that shows me what, yeah. we all got to start shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's even the growth in that. I mean, now it's, a you know, you know, motherfuckers have made careers on millionaires on right. social media multiple you know multiple yeah, it's streams like a real, it's and, a real thing now <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just can't fuck around. you can get a degree in social media now that like you get a yeah. bachelor a master's de- you get a master's degree in social media like that's it's crazy <laughs> right and it's the only game get is more vicious and here's the thing the principles never change that's when I took the wisdom of it never changes. If you think about it, it's the same thing. You 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 had a situation where, you know, because the funnel of, of fame was so tight, right? Motherfuckers, when they shot out, they shot, they were huge. Right. Cary Grant, John Wayne, Lucy, you know what I mean? It was it wasn't that many motherfuckers, and the ones that shot it, they were famous. It wasn't no low-level motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and now you got you got some dude who has an Instagram following. The dude, what a, the dude, the dude the dance. You know, the dude was the dude. Hey, that shit goes so viral though. And niggas like doing it. I'm doing that shit in the video. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Little weird dances that people just love to do. What is that? Because it's 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 fun, it's being silly, and there's no investment. Yeah, you feel me? It's it's it, yeah. it's just no I don't gotta go to the, easy. Right, right. You know, you just a million followers. It ain't easy to have a million motherfuckers come watch you in person. Yeah. Now you gotta, you know, now you gotta motherfucker pay a ticket, and they and then they gotta watch you for an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> right, right, right. You gonna do this for an hour and an hour? And a <laughs> you gotta do something. But you know, I, I don't mind people capitalizing. If you know, I'm nah, sure Doug, you- I mean, look, it's a great thing that that the corporations are real, literally getting left behind. Because they can't control it. Comedy Central is no longer doing original content, dog. It's going to be just crazy. like MTV. Reruns and content that already is done. People have just put up. So you could watch Ridiculous 12 times a day. You know what I mean? It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> It'll be ridiculous. It'd Twelve times, <laughs> five five hours of ridiculous. Right, right. No, I can't do it. Two, 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 two hours of ghosted, and then right back to ridiculous. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, back doing? in ESPN days where they it'd be Sports Center. 
whole morning. Yeah, dog. I mean, I know. My, I mean, I I know a lot of motherfuckers that don't have cable TV, and this, you know, and and you doing it all here. All on the phone. That that motherfucker's phone, man. They didn't figure. Yo, this they don't out. even. Have, <laughs> I, they got businesses that don't have a website because they got an app. They don't even have a website. <laughs> so it's already at that point. Yeah, it's uh, like, fuck it's, a website. We just do an it's app. It's just happening right here. Why would you? Right, Why right. would you talk? When I was a kid and we were watching it's Good so Times, funny. when we were watching Good Times, you had to everybody watch Good Times. Everybody was in the house. Watching it at 8.30 on right. Channel 4. <laughs> right, that was a thing. If you missed it, you missed it. If you missed it, you had to go to school and you didn't and you missed and it. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, you had to out. wait till the summer for it to come around with the rerun. This is before VCRs. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you feel me? Easy. Now, now everything's on demand. The YouTube is as strong as 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 TV. When I was when I was a young comic, if if a dude got a show, like a sitcom, we all knew he got it. We all were aware of it. Now I got niggas who got five seasons on Hulu. I don't even. I didn't even know a nigga got the job. <laughs> like that. I, you know I ain't seen him. Right. This nigga's in L.A. on his fifth season of fucking <laughs> Kim, right. Kimmy Schmidt. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, right. how how I know? Right. He got a sitcom on on CISO. Like I okay. <laughs> like so I, it's yeah. so spread out. It's so spread out now. Sure, you got your Kevin Hart's, but really, man, I don't even know if you're gonna have that. I don't even know if you're gonna get those type of motherfuckers no more, because yeah. it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's all on this. It's all on your iPad. And you take it with you. You watch it when you watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it. You watch who you want to watch, and so you being. You being able to, I don't, I mean, I don't even know how it ends up. It, I don't think you'll ever have those kind of huge stars again. We don't even go, like with the pandemic, we don't even go to the movie for the premiere. Yeah, that's not even, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's not even a thing no more. You just but download now it's all about it later. The number on your, it's like the number on your, on your stories. That, that That's like the new currency almost, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Because yeah, some cats it's, got it's, two, three hundred million people. That, that's a lot. That's a lot of influence. Uh, that's why they, they they would here's what they were doing with the uh, fake famous they were using bots for the likes and the views oh. and so they would botting and then when and naturally everybody oh this has got how many views this has value so I'm gonna watch it boom now they got that's you how it turned into it <laughs> And it just and this she, all of a sudden she starts getting she gets hotels and and free vacations and <laughs> is she just a b- bum on the street? <laughs> right, right. She living up. She living a studio. <laughs> crazy. Oh man! It's all right. So crazy. really quick, man. I'm, I'm gonna let you get out of here, Sue. Uh, what? Who's the goat of all time in the stand up game? Goat of all of, time. Because I, I know. It's to me is between Chappelle and Patrice. Those are the two that have I, their games hit me the most. I would tell you this, I, personally, that is. Yeah, I mean, Elephant in the Room was some of the best stand up <laughs> I have ever, ever seen. seen. Right, but it's like that. If I'm from Brooklyn, so it's like. The, it's like the big E J Z question. You know what I mean? You died too young, right? And you was both fat, right? Yeah, so it's right. the same right. thing. And then there's a body of work that you can't deny. But if you if you Brooklyn, you can't really answer that question. You can't. Do you think the weight had something to do with him getting in the way of becoming a big star? No, no, not at all. He oh. he he did that. He was it was he was projecting I think, up I, though, right? I, I think he was afraid. I think he was afraid to be too big. Mm. He was afraid, like he was such a truth seeker. He was afraid to be too big where he would have to it would he, he didn't want to be a liar. And he thought that the fame would make him a liar. Or that they would give him the fame and then when he was honest that they would take it away from him. So I don't think he really wanted to be that big. And then as he got older, he was like, yo, I'm, I, look, I'm getting older. I need to 
you know, and that's when it, and then you, you know, your life is taken away. That's why I always say, you know, the, 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 the commodity is time. Mm. It ain't, it ain't clout or likes or, or, you know, money or possessions. Cause without time, you don't have none of that. If you dead, you, you can't, you can't, you can't get a million followers on your Instagram, not being dead. And if you do, it don't matter. How you gonna cash in? You know, we don't know what happens after. Like, you know, do you, I, I don't really have a clue what happens after. I don't know, and I don't, it, I don't speculate. Be, right, but it, it could be nothing. So why waste the time? Yeah, I, why would you waste any time anyway? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I know, I'm a pretty, uh, pretty motivated individual, like very mm -hmm. motivated. But even I find myself, I find myself in situations like be more more you know you got like four more levels ten more levels. like what do you do? yeah 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 and, and yeah, i still dope. get it done so like yeah. what is your suggestion to to get to the, like to break through you know the Dog, break through? i think the first thing you got to do is you got to set a destination like you gotta you gotta have an idea what that what the finish line where the finish line looks like what it looks like what who who do you want to be when it's done, when are you finished, right? Because once you, once you define what that person looks like, it, 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 it you get a, you get a, 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 like this, like a GPS. Your brain is working out a way to get there because you, you, because nobody wants to be a liar. So you go, I want to be this person. And you and you're defining that, then your brain tries to figure out how you get mm. there. Not only that, but when you're doing things that are contrary to that goal, you feel what's what happens on the GPS recalculating. Right, right. It, you it start spinning it, right. trying to get you back on track. Right, right. right your right. brain works the same way, and you're resisting it. You, you're going off, and it goes recalculate, get back on track. So when you define where you want to go. It's it your your brain works to get you there. You still got to be willing to make the sacrifice to get there, but it all just the definition of the destination of where you want to go. You know, you can't even get an Uber without a destination. You, I'm gonna just pick you up and we just what? You're just sitting there. We just gonna float. The arrow gonna float all over the. Right, right. Got, there gotta be somewhere to go because I I gotta know what I gotta charge you. I know how much time I got. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 necessary. So if you don't have a destination, nothing. The second thing is you gotta know what you're dealing. with. You gotta know where you at. You gotta know where to send the Uber. Where is your current location? Mm. You ain't shit. That means you gotta start being better. Mm. You know, if you're trying to lose weight, that means you gotta eat better. What a, but if you think you better than you are, or you have this inflated idea. You don't. If you put the wrong address of where your current location is, what happens? You never get the Uber. It never shows up. It's on the next block. Right. It's got. So you it, gotta know. It, it all goes down to being honest. You gotta be honest. Yourself. You gotta know. Yeah. This is where I am. That's where I'm trying to go. Why do you and think it's so hard it. for people to, to see their own like their own like shit behaviors? Like, damn, why is it hard for people to do that? Um, to, like, I, I think that. because if, I think you get programmed by your parents, like you you know if you have grow up in a toxic environment, you think that that's the norm. So you try to act, you 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 have, you tell me act right, act right, right is subjective, right? Right. So if if I'm in a family that yelled at each other, called each other's name and shit, it on, you know what I'm saying? Did lie to each other and all kind of shit. That's the norm. That's how I've learned. Now, if, if I want it to be different, I got to reprogram myself. But I got to know that that, yo, this is fucked up. Right. Sometimes how do I even get to the, how do I even get to? I was looking at that shit on on Vice on Q. It's like you lying, you don't believe nothing, but you believe what you want to believe. And then nobody's telling the truth unless they agree what you agree with in the first place. Look, like, how do you even get out? Like, how do you, like, how do you even get out of that? You in the house of mirrors, dog, and you get, and there's no way out. Yeah, you know? That sounds like an awful situation. And the fear, imagine the fear. It's everything. <laughs> Just walking around the, in your soul. The right? Mexicans and the niggas and the Black Lives Matter. I'm not. I'm not. Just whites. We getting. We're not. We're not. 
we're not uh we're not uh having enough babies our birth rate is down we the latinos is gonna be the biggest group <laughs> they're gonna fuck my wife and come into the suburbs and dog i don't give a fuck about your suburb dog i don't give a fuck about your wife that bitch is awful you you're bugging right you're bugging absolutely bugging <laughs> you you really you you think you better than me? Dog, you, <laughs> come on, dog. Like you got to you know. <laughs> you got to know your dirty flannel and your cargo pants. You got to know. <laughs> you got to. Come on. Yeah, man. Because, <laughs> because of that, because of you, man, I, I literally try my hardest to be the best version of myself. I and appreciate I, and, man. That's and, and I'm for anybody listening. I know like, I got a lot of people listening. Go watch this. I'm telling y'all, follow this man. I would, if I, if it was me, and I've told people to do this, go to episode one. Maybe listen to a few to see that he's obviously yeah. up to the times. But then go to one and watch him. And then you can watch the growth. Yeah. Then you guys kind of grow. Has it been six years now? How many episodes in a row? Eight. You... Eight, eight years. How many um, episodes? We've... 400 something so i don't know i don't he even know be, i think he might be five or six hundred i think might be 500 i don't even know we've been doing it eight <laughs> years uh, so it's it's coming on nine years so say nine years nine times five is 45 450 episodes something like that yeah somewhere around that yeah and, and never missed a day never missed a day never missed a day that's commitment right there man that, that's a good that's Go to my, I mean, go to my, if I mean, go to I've asked dudes, go to my Patreon, sign up for my Patreon, man school. It's patreon.com slash man school 202. Sign up for my Patreon, support me, dog, so I can really do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm struggling to do it. I'm struggling to keep doing it. You know what I mean? But um, you can get one on one time with me, you know, um, relationship problems, all kinds of stuff, self esteem. I'm all telling of that. y'all, I'm telling y'all, and y'all know me, y'all know how I talk. Y'all know how y'all be like, how is he so confident? I'm telling you, this man had a lot to do with it. And then broke it down where it made sense, though, but with logic. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, and it just made sense. And then he and he t taught me, like, you got to you gotta work at it, though. It's one thing to say you're dope, which I'm all about. You got to make the decision yeah. to decide, right? got to decide. You got to decide. Decision not deciding is a decision not to decide. So if you, you don't give an decision. answer. Right, yeah. Right. Even if you even if you don't make a decision, you're just you are deciding not to decide. All the prospect if any of y'all fuck with me, I'm telling y'all this y'all need to give him a shot. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So where can everybody find you that. everything, man? Everything. Uh, Instagram, I'm the Dante Nero. Uh, everything else, Dante Nero, D A N T E N E R O. The website is DanteNero.com. If you want to consult with me, relationship stuff, breakups, divorces, problems, whatever, uh, DanteNero.com. Click on consult. Um, Y'all can check the YouTube. It's Man School 202. Uh, everything Man School 202. Everything Dante Nero. You can find me. Um, I. Uh, I think they're running my uh, episode of uh, Ray Donovan. I think they're running that now and uh, on Showtime. And who, this is what I'm saying. Who the fuck even knows who got Showtime? You know what I mean? It's right, like. Right, 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 right. It's, it's, well, yeah, you've, been um, a, you've been in a couple of good things, man. Yeah. What, yeah, I did, uh, I did a couple. I did a second season of Power and I did uh, I did uh, eight episodes on uh, Blacklist. Blacklist, yeah. A couple movies and stuff. You know, Google me. <laughs> yeah, like real talk here, yeah, real talk. Google, Google uh, Dante, me, thank so. you once again for being on. Thanks for saying yes. All right, Chris, I appreciate it, bro. I know Harry was uh he's about to be hitting you about up about something soon. I, you know Harry and Andre were both on the show, so that was a good Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, uh, no doubt. I'm gonna definitely see uh, you talk to you uh, soon, man. Andre is really doing his thing. <laughs> like he's really killing it. Yeah, he's growing. Yeah, I'm really proud of him, dog. I'm really, really fucking proud of him. I so. remember y'all brought him on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in the day, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's killing the game, man. Harry's killing the game. Y'all see you yeah. killing the game. I noticed y'all yeah. did get the social media like more popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. We're working. We I gotta talk to you. Tell, yeah. tell, tell Harry. Talk to Harry because Harry's doing um, most of it. I will. I, give I him, talk to give him, him a little backup. I will. I yeah. will, man. 
All right, thank okay. you, brother. Okay. I appreciate right, it. Thank you, bro. Peace.